Welcome, we are on the InvestorFuse main workspace. This is an automated lead management platform that we built on the Podio CRM for real estate investors or any real estate professional that is actively marketing for deals or prospecting for deals. This is where you keep your deals organized so that no lead falls through the cracks so you can actually monetize as many possible leads that come through your pipeline as possible. Think of it as an insurance policy on your marketing dollars spent. So on this demonstration, we're gonna walk through some of the follow-up features that we built into InvestorFuse. In particular, the scenarios that require the most follow-up are when you can't get a hold of a seller, or if it's a cold lead that isn't really fit for an appointment. And we will show you how to process leads like that through the system. We have an example lead that just came in. I can see here in my activity feed. The activity feed is where you can keep track of all your company dashboard numbers or your KPIs, leads this week, contracts for the month, pipeline deals. I can see here I have a task to call new lead. So you can program the tasks to go to whoever is responsible for calling back all new leads on your team. You can program these within the system. You have a description here to call back the new lead. It's due today. And I can link right to the lead that was created right here. So here's our lead, it looks like Harry Potter called. And you can see here in the communication log that they called in at 528. And I can listen to their call recording right here if they left the voice message just by clicking on that link. So I can see here that the next action here is to call new lead. So now I'm gonna go ahead and call the lead. And of course the lead did not answer. So what we're gonna do is we have to determine the outcome of this task completion. We'll just click on this button here and we'll say that no contact was made. So it's actually, you just click no contact made and it's gonna trigger the next action, which is call seller attempt to. So at this point, you're done, you can move on to the next lead. We've basically archived this seller lead and a task will pop up in a day or two to remind you to call this person back to try giving them another call. So if I were to refresh, you'll see that it changed the status to follow up and then the next action is obviously a follow up contact. So you'll have a, a task that pops up in your system in one day to call that seller back. Now let's say uh, we go back in a day and try to get a hold of them again. And again, we don't make contact. The same thing happens and we follow up for a total of six times. We try calling them, actually five times we try calling them. And then after the final call attempt, if for some reason we cannot get a hold of the seller, we can simply put them on an extended follow-up sequence. So after the final call attempt, it'll remind you to put them on an extended follow-up sequence and you can do that simply by going to the follow-up sequencer category field and click on can't reach. Now follow-up sequencer is basically like, think of it like an email autoresponder, but for emails, for text messages, for tasks, and then eventually for voice broadcasts and direct mail, uh, individual direct mail pieces as well. So right now we just have a, an option here to start the sequence just by clicking start. And that's gonna program a whole series of messages to get sent out over a scheduled interval that you can program in our follow-up sequencer programmer right on Podio. So you can see here that the first text message as part of the sequence was sent. And the text message is, shows up right here. I just left you a message to get a hold of you to discuss the property you can call me about. Please give me a call back as soon as possible. Thank you with your text message signature that you can also program in the system. And then it'll also make a note here that uh, an automated message was sent. So over the course of the next six months to a year, this will uh, actually send messages out to the person. And then I can actually go in, I'll refresh and I can go in and I can change the follow-up sequencer itself simply by going to this relationship field to our follow-up sequences app. So if I clicked on this, I can go and I can look at each message that gets sent and I can look at the time frame that these messages get sent. So these are text messages here and emails. This is a task to give them another ring. Okay, and I can go in and I can click on these and I can change the text message that actually gets sent individually. So that's pretty cool. And let's say they call back. All I need to do is click on stop 
and it's going to turn off that automated sequence. Now we have a couple other automated sequences in the system. We have a cold lead follow-up, so if it's a really cold lead and it's not a, uh, a property we want to make an offer on at this point, you can essentially just put them on this cold lead follow-up sequence just to basically keep the seller on, keep us on the seller's radar over a series of a couple of months. This is what you send right after you send the offer, just basically saying, hey, we just sent you an offer, I just want to make sure you got it, give us a call if you have any questions. This is a whole sequence of messages that get sent out. The warm lead follow-up, same thing, if you have a warm lead and it's a site unseen and you just send them an offer, this is the sequence that you're going to want to send. And then the same thing for a cold lead, you just trigger a follow-up sequencer to basically send messages out to this person until they give you a call back. So that's our follow-up sequencer, and you can program that in the back end of InvestorFuse simply by going to your configuration workspace. Now this is kind of what makes InvestorFuse customizable. You can go in here and you can ch change all the text messages that get sent out, all the tasks that are created, all the email templates. These are all the templates of the messaging that gets sent out in the system. This is where you can create the specific job roles to make sure that tasks get assigned to the right person on your team. And then this is the follow-up sequences app where you can program those sequences that I just demonstrated. So here's the can't reach sequence that we hit right when we realized we couldn't get a hold of this person. And here's all the different messages that get sent out. So if you wanted to go in and change this or add another type of message or an email or text message, you can do that right in here. You can click in and you can change the template of that actual message. Pretty cool, right? So those buttons back on the seller lead, you can click that and it's gonna trigger a whole sequence of messages to get sent out. Another feature we created is the ability to get reminded when a seller replies to one of your automated messages. So let's say this email comes, goes out automatically and they reply to you, it'll pop back up in the system and it'll automatically change the next action to reply to seller. So you can create a view for leads that you need to get back to because they just responded to you and you'll get notified right away when they do respond. And same thing for text messages. So if an automatic text message goes out and they reply in the system, you'll immediately get notified. It'll change the status to reply to seller. It'll change the stage of lead to follow up. And then the same thing happens if the person calls you back. If you have a, if they call back and you miss the call, the next action will change to call back and you'll have a task that's created for both of these items to call and reply to that seller. So that way, when someone re replies, you'll know it right away and you won't ever lose track of these leads that call you back. So let's say we finally did get a hold of Harry Potter and it's a bit of a unique situation. It's something that requires us to follow up with them in three days from now, or two days from now. He's, uh, he's tied up at the moment and he just he needs us to call him back in three days because he's busy or something. So we can say, all right, I finally got a hold of him. Task complete. It's gonna remind you in the system, it's gonna tag you in Podio and say, make sure to choose the next action. All right, so the next action in this case is going to be follow-up contact. So what you can do is you can go down to this drop down window and you can say, all right, we're gonna follow up with him in three days. You click that and then you're done. Basically what this does is it creates a task for your acquisitions or your office manager to follow up with that person. You can see here the task was created and the status and the next action will also change. The status is follow up and the next action obviously is follow up contact. So that's all you needed to do. You just click on follow up in three days and then you can move on to the next lead. So essentially, the way we process leads through the system is a bit like how I process my emails. You can kind of make the comparison. With an email, it's either something that you can respond to right away and choose and take the next course of action. You can delete that email or in this case, you can opt somebody out of the list simply by clicking on opt out, remove from list, or you can defer the email. I use a tool on Gmail called Boomerang, which basically boomerangs my email back into the system so that I don't forget about it. So what we're doing here is we're just boomeranging this lead back into our mind space in three days via a task. That's just like boomeranging it back in so you don't forget about the lead. 
So every lead, if you process every lead like that through the system, you'll never lose track of a specific lead. So let's say it's a cold lead and we just wanted to shoot an offer out real quick. So what we'll do is we'll just, we'll create a new item for the property. Use this address, click on save and return. And then we just wanna shoot them a quick offer so we'll get their email address And then we'll just click on create offer item. And then right over here, it's gonna link us right to the offer so that we can actually just right from here, we can click into the offer. We have to determine what we're gonna make the offer price. So we can look at our comps package right here that gets created automatically. All right, so it's a 4-2, 1300 square feet. I'm gonna look down the list here. I can look on the map to see properties in the area. So Q, 146 looks like to be retail. I can look at some of the lower end of the comps here. Um, 75 is the lowest one for a two bed. All right, so I can kind of estimate that the ARV for this is gonna be around 140, okay? So then what we'll do is use that ARV and basically determine, based on what the seller told you, determine what the rehab estimate's gonna be. Subtract that and you can use this calculator right here. So we'll say 140,000. We'll do a 65% LTV minus 40 grand in repairs. And we wanna make $10,000. So our maximum allowable offer is 41. So that's our maximum allowable offer. So we'll actually offer a little bit underneath of that so we can negotiate our way up. So our purchase price for this contract is gonna be 33,000. $100 deposit, closing in 30 days. Click on generate PDF. And that is going to instantly create a PDF using our built-in purchase contract. You can look at it right here to review. Everything looks good. Here's our price right here, here's our deposit, and here's the seller's name. All right, so now we can just quickly shoot that by email. You can send by email, and it'll let us know here that the email was sent successfully, and now it's back on the, the lead, it's actually gonna create a task for you to automatically follow up on the offer. You can see it was populated right here. So in a day, you'll instantly get a task to follow up on the offer that you just sent to make sure that they received it. And this is why no lead gets left behind literally in this system. Because every time you do something, there's always a follow up involved. That is how you, you have to set your business up in a way so that it's totally systematic every time you do something like this. And then you can use automation and you can use CRM technology to kind of help guide that process for you. This is why we love Podio because you can design how you execute specific deals unlike any other CRM. So we built all of these automations in for you. You can see the email that got sent right when we sent the offer. This is, let's say that was just a cold lead so we didn't even look at the property. We were able to get out a purchase contract and then we'll keep following up with that seller until it turns into a deal. So if you had this going for all the hundreds of leads that you're gonna be generating this year, imagine how many more deals you can close. This is just a quick demonstration of some of the follow-up functionality in the system. If you guys have any specific questions at all, feel free to reach out to info at investorfuse.com. We are very excited to continue to develop this and add more features and look out for more demo videos coming up soon. Thanks.